happy vlog Wednesday. It's actually Saturday, April 3rd, and I have a big work day ahead of me. I am going to work on all of the orders from my first $2 Tuesday today. And I know I was supposed to share last week some of the things that I learned with my first launch. And you guys, I just got backed up and could not do that. So I am going to share my day, what I'm doing today. I'm gonna go out through the day. So last week I was supposed to share the things I learned from my first launch. The things I learned and the things that I'm doing differently this time and from here on out. But then I just got way behind on orders. So I had $2 Tuesday last Tuesday when you're watching this. And I kept it open until I want to say 8 o'clock the next morning. And I had 71 orders. I am blown away with all of the support and the love. And y'all are loving the stickers and I'm loving that. So I have, I've been printing all week. So I printed from Tuesday until last night, Friday. And then today I'm gonna work on cutting. Now I did cut a little bit a few days ago. And y'all, it's one of those type things to where I have ordered another printer because like the last few days I've been printing and that's a lot of work for one printer. So I've ordered a second printer and I now have two Cameo Silhouettes for Cameo Force. And so I'm getting the use of that. So if one thing's not working, another one is. So I've had, you know, silhouette issues. And then once I got those fixed, the next day it was the printer. So I'm getting all of those kinks worked out. So I've got everything printed. So today is going to be my cutting day. And then we're gonna move forward from that and hopefully be able to start either tomorrow or Monday filling orders. So as we go along today, and as I'm working, I am going to share some of the tips that I have learned from my first launch. So my first launch, you guys, everything went well. Everything got shipped out when I wanted it to, but it was a chaotic mess behind the scenes, and that was because I did not have a system. So there is the first tip I wanna give you. You need to have a system. So when I came in here, if you watched the vlog where I talked about that, I will leave that in a video or a card above. So I was like, I'm gonna have this system, and this is how it's gonna work, and then it just fell apart. So. I am starting a system with this launch. I have to get a system. You need a system to how everything is going to work so that you're not running around at like one o'clock in the morning like I was on that Thursday at two o'clock, I was still cutting stickers. And the only reason I stopped at two o'clock that evening or that morning basically is because I ran out of ink. So tip number one is to have a system. So this is something that I said I was gonna have with the first launch. I was gonna be all organized with it and then I was pressed on time and y'all, it just started going all over the place. So it caused a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety and at two o'clock in the morning on that Thursday night, I was still up cutting stickers and printing and I would have probably stayed up all night but I ran out of ink. So that forced me to stop at like two or 2.30 that morning. So I'm doing this totally differently and I have to be okay in my head with not getting orders out immediately. So I have a system in place this time and I'm going to stick with the system and not let it fall apart. So I'm gonna share with you the system that I have for this launch first thing. So this is what I did first thing. So I went in after I closed my shop. So I went ahead and closed my shop and that's probably how I'm gonna do it because I wanted everything, me to get everything out and then open back up, do a, I mean, it just to me is more organized so I'm not, my brain is not all over the place. So I printed all of the packing slips. So I printed them out, I stapled the ones that had two pages. So here's the great thing about Shopify as well. All of these orders, the order numbers are in order. So the first order I sold on my shop is 1001. So this stack goes from 1001 all the way to 1071. So that is a great way for me to keep everything in order and to know what shipped and what did not. So I'm loving that about it. So once I printed them all off, I stapled the ones that need to be stapled that were more than one page. And then I went through and I made my print and cut list. So y'all, and this is just free handed. So what I did was I listed everything that I had for sale. And then I went through every order and did little tally marks. Every single one. So this is everything here that needs to be printed and cut. So everything so far is printed and how I did it 
was I printed one extra of everything. So up here where it says small world horizontal sheet one, it has 10 and I printed 11. So all of these have been printed. Some of them have been cut. So all the way through, I think one C01, which is coffee cups have been cut. So that leads me over here. So these organizers have been fantastic. They come from the steady hand and I had three and then I ordered three more. So I ordered the, this one here, this one here, and then that one there. So I had the other three and then I added to them. This is a great way to maximize your space with your Ikea Calyx units. So I also ordered yesterday two of the closet made 15 cubby shoe organizers. That's going to go on the other side of the room and that is how I'm going to organize our sheets to sell. So right now I have all of them here. So this is coffee and then here is sarcasm. So my goal, my goal is for each one of the cubbies when I print and cut to have each one of these on its own cubby. So when I'm filling orders, I can just pull the sheets as I go and it would be a lot more organized because I mean, look, and this is just the beginning of my shop. So I'm going to need a lot. So I ordered two of those, which is 30 sections. So hopefully I won't need more than that. So I'm wanting to use these here for just the um, samples for the upcoming releases. So this is the next $2 Tuesday, then the next one, next one, next one. And then I'll come through and do all the $2 Tuesday here. Then here is April releases, April releases, and then the Summer Patriot kit here. So once all of this goes live, then I'll start working on the May. So that's what I want to do. I want to use these for all of my samples and release information in order. And I want to use the shoe organizers for my to pull for order. So like all of this stuff that needs to be pulled for orders. So that is the first step there. So I printed the packing slips. I made my print and cut list. Then some of them have been printed and cut. And then I started having some issues with my printer and then my silhouette. So I paused. And from that point on, what I did was I printed everything. So this is what I'm fixing to start cutting today. So everything is in one of these. And y'all, this thing here was a nice investment. So this is a Russell and Hazel acrylic they call it something. So I've got all of these Erin Condren Hello Kitty folders. Oh, and you know what? I ordered some more of those. And I think they came in today. So I'll be able to use more of those because I needed some more. Some of these have several in it. So all of these are filled with sheets that I've already printed and I need to cut today. So that is what I'm about to start working on today is cutting the sheets for those orders. So I'm going to pause and get that process started. And then I will share another tip with you guys that was my stomach i am so hungry i don't know if you just heard it but my stomach just growled it is one o'clock now so i've been working since 10 i think that is when i first introduced the video so i have been working since 10 o'clock non-stop on so many different things so i'm now it's one i'm gonna take a break so not only have i been cutting stickers but I'm also moving around some things. We are moving Derek's desk into his room. His room is getting cleaned because my office area is getting expanded out more. So it's just his room was a mess and he had this red locker in it and he was shoving so much stuff in the locker. So I finally said enough is enough. Kate moved her desk to her room. We're moving his desk to his room. The locker will come in here and I will store things in it. So everything that is for the Summer Patriot kit and the Happy Halloween kit, I have all of that in the locker. So I will share all of that with you in just a minute, but I want to share tip number two. The second thing that I learned on launch day. And the second thing is to expect things to go wrong. So I... You know, I had dealt with the silhouette for since November. I was having issues. I finally got the issues worked out. And it was one of those type things that, y'all, I couldn't get the silhouette to work. The lighting wasn't working. It wasn't cutting right. And my assumption is that a silhouette is going to cut if the program tells it what to cut. The silhouette should cut perfectly every time. 
That is my stupidity for thinking that because it doesn't cut right all of the time. And sometimes you have a lot more uh, scrap stuff than you actually do product. So this is just my second launch that I'm working on, but I've already realized that I'm going to have three different levels of stickers. I'm gonna have the ones that cut perfect, that are printed perfect, and those are the ones that get sent in the orders. Number two, I have one that have little minor issues, not enough to just throw them away, and those will go in oops things. I'll share some of those with you in just a minute. I'll I'll probably do an oops in May is what I'm thinking. And then number three, the ones that just totally cut wrong and have to be trashed. So let me share that with you really fast just to share with you what I'm talking about. So I'm probably not even a third of the way done cutting today and this is what I have for issues that can't be salvaged. They have to go in the trash. So I kept every one of them to show you. So do y'all see those cut lines? See how it's in the middle? So, and there's no rhyme or reason why my silhouette cut like this because the one before this cut perfect and the one after this cut perfect, this one did not. There's really no reason why it didn't. Same thing here. It just, sometimes it has hiccups and it's crooked. I don't, I don't know. Like the registration marks, it will read the registration marks correctly, but then when it goes to cut, it just cuts all over the place. So I have, these have to be trashed. There's nothing I can do about it. See how off-centered those are? Some of these didn't cut right. Some of them are on the wrong paper. So the biggest thing for this one is they're on wrong paper. So like this one, it looks perfect but it's on the paper that I decided not to use because it's harder to get the stickers off the paper. So that went into an oops. So you can still use this. They look perfect, but it's not quality for my shop to put, you know, for $3.95. So I'm going to have an oops sale in May. I need to mark that on my May calendar. So I will sell whatever I have here. So there's five sheets and there'll be $5 for five sheets. I just made sure each one of them didn't have the same sheets in there. So five for five dollars. So those are the three types of stickers. The ones that have to be trashed, the ones that are perfect, and the ones that are good enough to sell at a very discounted price. So that means for me, since I had so many extra did, that did not cut right, so when I did my little tally marks, I would have like 10 tally marks. So I would um, print 11. So I only had one extra for everything, but some things messed up more than once. So I may have three that I have to go back print and cut. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to go through everything. I'm going to cut everything. I'm going to fill all of the orders with what I have. And then what I don't have, I'll do a second batch of tally marks and printing and cutting for those. So I'm gonna push ahead and do all of that, and then we'll do the extras at the end. So it is 1.15 and it is time for me to eat lunch. I'm exhausted, I'm tired. After I eat lunch, I'll share with you what we've got going on, what Derek's room looks like, and what the office looks like. So while I'm eating lunch, I am gonna be working on cutting. So let me share this with you. So these are the months for the month. So what I did was I went through and said, okay, if there's six Januaries, then I printed six. So that means I'll have all of the extras here. So what I do for these is I just, what they call kiss cut it. So it's not, it's still attached to the paper. So I will use my Fisker's paper trimmer here and we will go and we'll cut out each one of the months. So I have them to do for spring tea and for small world. So I will work on that during my lunch. So once those get cut, I will sort them into one of these 12 bins here. And y'all, when I ordered these, these came from Amazon, I will link them. I didn't even plan on using them this way. I planned on just using them for my vinyl stickers, but then I, but then I thought that's perfect. So I will sort them according to the month. So January, February, all the way through December. And then as I fill orders, I'll just come through here and grab the one I need. So I know at the moment which colors are which. So the pink is for small world. The navy blue is for spring tea. If you see a peach, that is for boho dreaming. And then the teal is for birthday fun. So that is what I'm going to do while I eat lunch. I'm going to cut those and eat. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. 
stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Okay, you guys, it is roughly five o'clock and I am going to call it a day for the cutting. My machines have started to not cut as well as often and I know it's time for them to have a break. They have been running since 10 o'clock this morning. They really didn't even have a break while I took lunch at one. So I'm tired, my back's hurting and they're just not cutting as well right now. So I'm gonna have to go back and do a bunch of um, reprints on something so i'm just going to call it a day and rest for the evening so my last two things that i learned so i have talked about to have a system and i've talked about to expect mishaps like just now so i'm gonna have to reprint some things and recut some things but now i know it's part of the system so i'm not going to be in freak out mode when it does happen so my third thing is to start with your largest batch first so this was probably my biggest issue during um, my first launch when i was doing the massive amount of printing and cutting i started with my smallest thing first and you know it did give me some momentum but then i realized i was exhausted by the end and a lot of the orders needed those last things that i was printing and cutting for example, today, sheet four for spring tea, which is the icon or deco sheet, I needed to print and cut 19 of those. So the first launch, I waited to do that last. So those big um, stacks that I needed to print and cut of the same sheet, I waited till last, which means a lot of orders can't get filled until those last things are done because that's a bulk of your orders. So spring tea has been a huge seller for my first launch and this launch. This launch, I did it at the beginning and that's where I stopped today because it started messing up and I'm like, I I'm not doing this. But the first launch, I did it the very end. So I started with the smaller things like Lucky Charm and Hoppy Easter. And then I did the Small World and Spring Tea last. So I should have done it in the opposite order. I should have done the big ones first and then down to the smaller ones last. And I'm talking about sheets. So do I need to print 19 of one sheet? Do I need to print one of one sheet? So I was doing all of those one sheets at the beginning which was causing me such stress at the end because I was holding up all of the orders because a large majority of the orders were still waiting for those things that I hadn't printed and cut yet. So start with the largest batch first. So last but not least, let's talk about equipment and supplies. So starting a small business is expensive because especially if you're just starting out because you don't have any of your printers or you don't have any of your silhouettes or whatever whatever business you have you don't have what you need to cut or whatever you're doing to make your products so i started with the one silhouette cameo four that my husband got me for my birthday I had a suspicious feeling that i was going to need more than one because i'd watched so many videos and uh, Y'all, I just follow so many small shops. So after that first run, my first launch, I sold 64, I had 64 orders. I knew I was sitting here and I had a lot of downtime when I could be switching out um, cutters. So pulling one, moving it to the other. So it's going to cut your time in half. So I knew after that first launch, I had to get past that first launch and make a little bit of money and then I could buy my second silhouette cameo. So that is what I did. 
and I actually bought the portrait as well just to have to do samples and things like that that aren't you know samples I put those in every order but I don't want them to take up my big cameos if it makes sense so I got the smaller one to take care of smaller projects so it wasn't um, taking up time on my other two if that makes sense so those type of things are good to invest in then I realized when I was printing for this second launch that the printer was just taking forever so I was like okay the second launch I'm going to buy a second printer. So I bought a second printer. So I don't know if I'm going to need a third. We'll see. I don't think I'll need more than three. So we will see how it works. I'll share the entire experience with you and my thoughts and all of that because I want to walk you through this process as well. So let's go over this one more time. So for the four things that I learned, the first thing was to have a system. I had a system and it all went to, <laughs> it all went out the door. So have a system and stick to it. Number two is to prepare and don't freak out for those mishaps. You're going to have things that don't work out. You're going to have your printer not wanting to, to print the way it should. You guys, that first launch, I had to run out to Walmart twice to get ink cartridges because I get somehow the Instaprint, it wasn't working because I just signed up for the program. So it didn't really know my printing history, I don't think. So I am going to do a video once I start using that and it starts becoming a system on how I like it. So I really can't tell you right now because I'm still on my free trial for my major printer. So I will let you know about that in the future. So the third thing is to do your largest batch first. You guys, your largest batch is what's going to be for most of your orders or for me, that's what it was. So I was holding up a lot of orders getting shipped out because I was waiting for those big batches to the very end. So this time I'm doing all the big batches first down to the smaller ones. And then last but not least, if there's things that you need to purchase for your business, get those. Do a little bit of sales and then use that money to put back into your business. Buy materials, buy supplies, buy printers, buy whatever you need to save you time, stress, and effort in your business. So you guys, that is all that I'm going to talk about for today's video. So I just kind of wanted to share some things that I learned after that first launch. And if there's anything or any questions that you have, definitely let me know that in the comments below. If I have enough questions, I will do another video. So you guys don't forget, tomorrow is my April releases. If you did not check out my YouTube live on Monday, I will put that in a card above. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.